each one of you are a separate universe you may think then what is special about me why am i existing what is the purpose of my existence each one of you search for your uniqueness whether you earn money or build body or build relationships or manifest powers anything you do it is your search for your uniqueness inside you are programmed to search for your uniqueness and by your very existence you try to find your uniqueness so what is it that is unique in you actually who is searching that there is something in you which is searching your uniqueness that is unique for you that consciousness is unique for you and the fifth statement is the most important statement it is beyond paradoxical it is beyond paradoxical listen if you actually meditate and do vakyat sadas on this statement not only you will get get enlightened you will manifest whatever you want in the life because the part of your brain which is responsible for ishwaratva getting whatever you want that part of the brain will be kindled by this fifth truth listen the fifth truth listen the consciousness you have which tries to search your uniqueness whether you eat pizza and taste enjoy some taste or you acquire money and build some identity or you gain name and fame anything you do you are searching for your uniqueness that which searches your uniqueness in you is your uniqueness that is your consciousness and listen to the fifth statement your consciousness and all each one's universe is one and the same infinite number of universes and your unique consciousness is one and the same this is the fifth statement the consciousness only you have and the universes each one as both are one and the same listen listen to the conclusion conclusion existence of parama shiva being of parama shiva identity of parama shiva all three are one and the same in their manifest and unmanifest states same way your unique consciousness only which you have and the universes each one of you have is one and the same don't think only you are not able to understand actually if you understood all the statements i made you have not heard it properly if you hear it properly you will understand it's not related to binary logic it's cosmic logic 
this statements will awaken the brain non mechanical parts of your brain which is responsible for the power of ishwaratva manifesting whatever you want